Hi, my name is Rodrigo Kamade. I'm a software developer with Sabre Travel Network. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a custom form Red App. A custom form is a way to customize the command helper bar with a menu-driven form. Our project is going to be in the command helper bar. Events and tickets, we will be using the Ticket Master API. For more information about this API, please go to developer.ticketmaster.com. This is going to be a simple form where we can input the type of event that we're searching for, in this case, concerts. When we press submit, we will be calling the Ticketmaster API and showing the results. Let me show you how to build this type of project. Our first step is going to be to create a empty plugin project. Please go to File, New, Plugin Project. Our name is going to be Custom Form Example. Please select Next, Next, and uncheck the option Create a Plugin using one of the templates. Our example is going to have a mix of TypeScript code and Java code. For our TypeScript part, please create a new folder named web-src. Please access this folder via the CMD. the command prompt, please type the following command from the Concerge tool. For more information about the Concerge tool, please see our installation video. The command is ngv space init. This will prompt from the project name. The project name should be in the reverse URL format, only with dashes instead of dots. In our case, com dash saber dash custom form. The author should be my name. Please type this all in lowercase. After complete, we should get a success message in green. If we refresh our project, the following structure was created. Inside the folder src code, is where our, our TypeScript code will initiate from the class main.ts. I will now open this project in Visual Studio Code. Our project is not yet recognizing the TypeScript API exposed by the SDK. So our next step on the Visual Studio Code terminal is to type the following command. ngb build. This is to build our project for the first time and to make it aware of the TypeScript API exposed by the SDK. Our project has been built for the first time and now our code recognizes the TypeScript API exposed by the SDK. I'm displaying a finish example in Visual Studio Code. Our project needs one modification in our package JSON file Please include the following dependency, saber-ngv-xp. In our main.ts class, we will be registering our command helper button. Custom forms use two libraries, React and Redux. Please see the official documentation for these two libraries for more information. 
our main TS file is going to initialize our custom form button. This is the button where the agent will see the Ticketmaster's event option. We will be registering our button, our form, and our results model. In our example, all code related to our custom form is localized in this folder, custom form. Our button is going to extend from this class, abstract bootstrap popover button. This will have the title and a CSS class. You can use the same options used in the sample to use the same look and field that's used by Sable Red. Our CDM helper form is going to be a React form that's going to display the label to the agent. And when clicking on Submit, it's going to call a backend service from Java to execute the Ticketmaster API call and return the results to TypeScript. I will now show you how to configure a backend service from Java to be called from TypeScript. To configure our backend service, we need to go back to our original plugin project in Eclipse. In our example, I have a package com.saber.tn.redapp.sdk360.ticketmaster. This is going to have one interface that has a single method, execute, and returns an object of the type flow extent point command. It also receives the same type of object as a parameter. I also have a class implementing the same interface and declaring the same method, execute. In our manifest.mf file, under extensions, we need to map this configuration. This is done by adding the following extension point, com.saber.edge.dynamo.flow that flow point that registry the following element needs to be added flow extension point the documentation on how to map a backend service is located in the following chapter in our help guide under data services and command flow Java Backend Services with Callback. Our extension point ID is going to be Execute. And our flow ID is going to be dynamo.api.execute. Our callback service is the fully qualified name of our interface. In our case, I custom SBC handler, colon, the name of the method. In our case, execute. Our next step is creating a folder osgi-inf. Inside, we need to have an XML file mapping the following configuration. In our example, the file is named ticket master service XML. Inside we have the following configuration. The name, which is just for reference. The implementation class, the class that implements our interface. And our interface, the interface that declares the service. Our last step is making the project aware that this configuration exists, and this is done by the following tag in the manifest MF file. 
the correct tag is service component colon and the path to our file. In our, our case, osgi-inf backslash ticketmaster.xml. Going back to Visual Studio Code, in our CDM helper form, when the user clicks submit, the following method is executed. CF and the name of our backend Java service. This is the standard way to consume a backend Java service from TypeScript. This is documented in the following chapter in our help documentation. Under data services and command flow, Java backend services with callback. The correct way would be ngb colon slash slash red app slash service slash the fully qualified name of our interface colon the name of the function. In our example, this is the fully qualified name of our interface and this is our function. This is going to call the following function, process search service, that is going to call the Ticketmaster API on the Java side and then return the results to TypeScript. To interact from TypeScript and Java, we need a data model exposed. This is a series of classes annotated by JAXB. In our example, this is in our data package. Please see the following chapter on how to correctly annotate the JAXB classes so they can be passed from TypeScript to Java and vice versa. This is in this chap in the following chapter, data types and serialization. Our data model classes are based on the response we get from the Ticketmaster API. Please note that you need to annotate all fields with a custom namespace. This should be the same namespace for all elements in your data model. Once you're done creating your data model classes, we need the following file, transformer.properties. This file should be created under the SRC folder. The transformer properties has a reference to our data model package. And this should be the package name. In our case, com.saber.tm.redapp.sdk360.data. And the ns field should point to the namespace that we declared in our data model. Our last step is to go to our manifest.mf file and add the following declaration eclipse dash register buddy and add the following package com.saber.edge.dynamo.transformer. This is going to allow Saber Red to transform our data model from Java code to JSON and vice versa. This will allow communication from the front end TypeScript to the back end Java and vice versa. Going back to our TypeScript code and Visual Studio code in our main.ts folder, we are first registering our data model with the following syntax and then registering our results view with the following line. When the results are returned from Java, they will be shown with our driver service class. Shown here. Our last step, once we're done with the project, is to go to the terminal area and build our project for the last time. The command is ngb space build. If we have a successful build indicated by this line, our TypeScript project folder will contain a build folder 
and inside a prod folder. The contents of the prod folder are our compiled code. This is our finished product. We need to create a web folder and a subfolder with the same name as chosen in the ngb init command. Inside this folder, please copy the content of the prod folder. And this is what Saber Red will look for to display your TypeScript code inside Saber Red. This has been the custom form tutorial video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check the sample code provided. Let us know if there's any questions and see you next time.